हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज द डॉग ब्रीड आइडेंटिफायर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग थ्रू दिस सो यू कैन फाइंड अ गिट अप लिंक इन द इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन जस्ट गो टू दैट लिंक ओके सो दिस इज द गिट अप रेपो यू कैन क्लोन दिस रेपो फ्रॉम हेयर ओके एंड आफ्टर क्लोनिंग और डाउनलोडिंग इट यू विल गेट दिस डिरेक्टरी ओके सो इन दिस डिरेक्टरी जस्ट रन द स्क्रिप्ट app dot py okay so this is going to run the web app our web app uh okay now for the web app you need to type in the url local host and the port 50030 uh if you want to run this uh, app on another pc or another machine you have to con- uh, connect to the network uh through w- on which this pc is connected to and you just need to type the ip of this pc here uh, instead of localhost so you can uh, run the web app on another pc also yeah so this is our web app you need to choose the image of the dog here so we'll first download an image of a dog uh of any breed a beagle okay let's download an image okay so okay let's try this one save image okay here only yeah where is the image yeah okay here you can see the code has started running so in the back end so basically the web app is using flask for the backend uh, uh it's first trying to detect the dog if it's present in the image or not it's using yolo v3 for this okay yeah now it's going to identify the breed of the dog okay so this is the count uh, one dog is found in the provided image <laughs> it should be dog so one dog is found in the provided image and to see the breed you just need to click here okay so beagle yeah it's it has correctly detected the breed of the dog okay so this is what it is and uh, we can even choose multiple dogs we even run it on multiple dogs uh let's search dog breed okay no maybe group of dogs yeah this one is a good image let's try it on this oh did it hit yeah let's try it on this okay so basically these are the nine dogs present in the field in the field let's try if it can work on this or not <coughs> yeah the network is bit slow maybe my machine is not not running it on a gpu that's why it's trying to detect the dog okay 
has done okay nine, nine dogs are found yeah it has successfully detected all the nine dogs let's try the b a breed so possibly it has detected classified all the breeds and uh, probably the breed should be correct okay so this is our basically our model of the dog breed identifiers yeah so this is the web app and uh, this is the way to run the web app now let's move on to the presentation okay so dog breed identifier this is the problem statement you are already familiar with we are going to calculate the number of dogs present in the image and then uh, localize the dogs uh, where they are present in the image and then classify each dog on the basis of their breed identify the, the breed of every dog yeah so these are the challenges we have uh, done it in three parts so first challenge one is localization we are going to localize the dog uh, the dogs challenge two is when we got the dogs images of the dogs from the image uh, provided then each dog image is sent to the classifier which then identifies the breed and the third part is the web app that we made uh, this web app for scanning and identify the breed of a dog so implementation part okay so in the implementation part I'm gonna explain you first the localization part okay so first uh, first uh, uh, part of the mod of the model is the image is sent to the detector so basically this detector is thus the initiation of the pipeline therefore I need a higher recall value because a uh, higher recall value is for I need each and every dog to be detected because if there is a miss uh, then uh, the dog's image is not sent to the classifier and hence uh, the whole pipeline the classifier cannot uh, even detect the breed of the dog so I need each and every dog to be identified by the model and a good precision is also required that's because if a false positive is uh, predicted by the detector and so a false positive is sent to the classifier so if classifier doesn't gets the image of the dog it will further get confused and and show a uh, uh, show an ambiguous result so that's why a uh, good precision rate is also required so for this we have solved this problem using transfer learning we have used a model yolo v3 you might be familiar with it is a very good detection model it's a uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it has got a good speed and good accuracy we have not trained this model we had just directly used this model it, it was working fine it is detecting every dog and it's it's working fine yeah so this is the detector uh, so a uh, image is provided to the detector and it identifies every dog and crops the image it uh, it takes out the image of each dog and produces the image so these five images are produced by the detector and this these all five images are then sent to the classifier which will hence identify the breed of the dog yeah so this is the identifier or the classific uh, classifier the classification model okay so for the classification model model also we have used the transfer learning so our model is shown in the diagram so first there is a feature extractor for extracting the f uh, features out of the uh, dog image uh, we have used a model inception v3 so it is a, a very good pre-trained model uh, so in this model we have just fine-tuned the uh, denser layers uh, the upper layers of the model we have just fine tuned them and then added uh, and added a fully connected two fully connected layers two hidden fully connected layers one with 256 neurons one with 156 neurons and then the output layer which contains the 133 neurons so 133 is the uh, number of cla uh, number of classes present in uh, uh, we number of classes we have trained the model on so there are 133 breeds our model is able to identify and the accuracy of this model has got to 85 percent so yeah that's a good accuracy also so this is basically our identifier and uh, in the identification so uh, this is what it does it identifies the breed of each and every dog yeah so basically this is our web app in our web app you have already seen the web app by, uh, by the way so 
uh, here in the input part it identifies the breed of the dog you just need to choose the image here uh, just uh, we can also drag and drop the image here so browse the image choose the image select the image and run the code so it will then give the count here like here it's written three dogs are found in the provided image and to see the detail click on the see, uh, d uh, see detailed results to see the breed of each and every dog and uh, yeah this is the output so here you can uh, see easily so it has uh, I detected three dogs and identified the breed Gordon Sitter yeah all three are the Gordon Sitters so yeah this is basically our dog identifier yeah okay thank you have a nice day oops yeah, okay